Thank you. Everybody may be seated. Good evening, parents, family members, Dr. Mark Daniel, Dr. Faye Williams Robbins, Chief Financial Officer, Ms. Kathy Friend, FWCS board members, Ms. Raleigh Booker, Ms. Maria Norman, teachers, honored guests, and soon to be graduates. I want to extend a warm welcome and extend my heartfelt thanks for everybody being here today. Before I address the seniors, I would like to introduce the elementary and middle school principals from our Northrop family. I would like each of them to stand and remain standing. Please hold your applause until all of them have been introduced. J.R. Agenbrook, Lincoln Elementary. Keith Goldfuss, Washington Center Elementary. Nick Kirby, Arlington Elementary. Neil Rupp, Shambaugh Elementary. Stacy Shorkin, Holland Elementary. Nick Sharon, Jefferson Middle School. Suzanne Tiemann, St. Joe Central Elementary. David Terhina, Shawnee Middle School. And Jasmine Youngblood, Frankie Park Elementary. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Northrop High School seniors, I come to you today a different person because of the lessons that you guys taught me this year. At the beginning of this school year, we had a period of acclimation as we got to know each other. In the middle of the year, you taught me that this school has a measurable talent and can step up and lead the way. At the end of the year, you showed school spirit and a never-say-die attitude as we moved towards the finish line. It is my hope that in the short time we had together, I taught you some things as well. I will be brief, but I want to leave you with a few thoughts. The class of 2023 will hold a special place in the history of this great school. COVID disrupted your ninth and 10th grade years. Your 11th grade year was another transition back to being in person fully. Your 12th grade year, you endured your fifth principal in four years. You should all be proud that you showed grit, determination, and you're sitting here today as successful and ready to graduate. I want you to never forget or take for granted the most obvious things around you. I know all too well how difficult it is to stay aware of what's happening in the world, especially when you're too busy dealing with that monologue inside of your head. Let your mind rest each day as much as you can and enjoy life. I have a personal challenge for each of you. Every day when you wake up, make it a goal to laugh, think, and move your emotions. You guys are ma making me move my emotions right now. You're a Northrop Bruin, always work to make your community a better place. Dr. Daniel, as principal of Northrop High School, I certify that all the members of the class of 2023 seated before you have met the requirements set forth by the state of Indiana and the Fort Wayne Community School Board of Trustees and therefore should be granted a diploma. At this time, I would ask that everybody please stand for the singing of the national anthem performed by Northrop Senior to Corey Moore. So proudly we hailed by the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallant. Oh, say does that 
star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land. Everyone may be seated. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce our Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Faye Williams Robbins. Good evening. It is especially my pleasure tonight to have the opportunity to play a small part in this graduation as I am an alumni of Northrop High School. Though today is a special day where we recognize and celebrate the culmination of accomplishments made by you as graduates, it is not only the ending of your time in pre-K-12 education, but also a day of new beginnings. It is our desire as a school district that the education and experiences you have received while with us have prepared you for far greater experiences and successes as you move into the next phase of your life. I want to thank the mothers, fathers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, and other caregivers for the opportunity to have served your family and worked alongside you in ensuring that your graduate received a quality education. It has truly been our pleasure. To the graduates, job well done. You deserve the accolades you will receive today. Best wishes for a bright future, and welcome to the Alumni Association. Congratulations, Northrop Bruins, Class of 2023. So I was going to say a joke, but okay, I will. So Mr. Swinford actually had hair when he began at Northrop as your principal. What happened? No, not, that's not true, parents. I made that up. So. I am sure there were many times over the past four years when you questioned if this day would come. Yours is a class that had the new normal high school experience because of pandemic era phenomena. So what lessons have you learned? We ask members of your class what their greatest lessons were over the past four years, and here's what they said. Quote, the breaks and different way of school life helped shape me into who I am now. I've had time to really think about my future and work hard so I can get there. I also had time to think about who I want to be in this world and build the confidence up to get there. Another student says, now I'm a person who is more grateful for the people that, can always, that I can always depend on. I find myself being more willing to try new things. Another student said, having my first year of high school abruptly shortened was not ideal. But I learned a lot about myself, which made me a better person. It taught me to be flexible and helped me to learn to accept and adapt to a changing and a challenging learning environment. Another person said, after it was all said and done and back to normal, it taught me to appreciate every blessing for what it is. Instead of wishing it was different, it taught me to not constantly complain about things I have no control over. It taught me how to better adapt to new circumstances and still, instead of living a static and rigid life. And lastly, 
I learned how to think outside the box and how to become comfortable doing uncomfortable things for me. Well, these are lessons we all want to learn as they prepare us to be successful in a rapidly changing world. Your world is unlike the one your parents and grandparents grew up in. But because of what you have been through, you can already see that when you persevere, you can accomplish anything. Yes, you are equipped with the tools and mindset to take on the most challenging issues facing our community and the world. One very important way you can do that is by voting, which is the most powerful tool and essential for a thriving democracy. I say this because I want to tell you on November 7th, 2023, you can directly support the safety of our schools and the well-being of our students and our staff because we have a referendum for safety. You will make a difference, and I want to in advance thank you. So this past week, I had the opportunity to attend the Big Brothers Big Sisters Gala. Pretty phenomenal event. Maybe some of you here actually attended that as well. Dick Vital spoke. Now, I'm not really a huge fan of Dick Van Tal, but I'll tell you, he had some amazing words. And I just want to share what he said. First of all, you may not know, he's a cancer survivor. He's an individual who has, as, an, as a commentator, has bridged many, many relationships and from all sorts, high school, college, to professional basketball. But most importantly, he understood this. There are three P's, he said, that are important if you want to be successful. First P is have passion. Passion can overcome a lot of weaknesses. Passion, but also take pride in what you do. Because when you have passion and pride, then you double that down with perseverance, you become a winner. Those are the three things, very simply, that's advice that I even, as I think of myself, and I think of many of the people on this stage and all the other people in our audience, perseverance, passion, and pride. Well, I can't wait to see the wonderful things that you're going to accomplish in the years ahead. But please keep us in mind, we need educators, folks. If you're interested in education, our door is open. We are open. We need you. So class of 2023, thank you and best wishes. So it's my pleasure now to introduce Northrop Salutatorian, Michaelin Lord. Thank you, distinguished staff, students, and family for joining us here today. I have given a lot of speeches in my high school career, but this one was the hardest to prepare for. It may have been because I never expected this, or because I felt that I did not deserve it in comparison to some of my peers. So thank you to all of the teachers that have helped me on this journey and for supporting me this far. I am honored to be here in front of you today. I was born in a small town in upstate New York, not Canada. My parents have been divorced since I was young and starting our freshman year in a three-way tie with places four through seven, four through six, sorry. <laughs> Pretty much no one could have expected that I would be standing here in front of you today, speaking in front of a couple thousand people. Senior year is when students are expected to know everything that they're going to do, every whim or desire they may have. But for us, this is our first real year of high school. In March of 2020, our freshman year came to a screeching halt. Sophomore year, we went half the year or not at all. 
our junior year, we were back in school, but we had masks and we social distanced from each other. Our high school experience has been anything but normal. But we have made it through, it wasn't perfect, but we came out better than how we entered it. We have grown and changed a lot from freshman year when faculty, admin, teachers called us demon spawn and the worst class Northrop had ever seen. Northrop has changed the way I perceive myself and others. You can walk through the halls and see so many different interactions and different people from different walks of life. Some people are rushing off to class with music blasting in their ears that will probably make them deaf. Some people are just standing in the middle, the middle of the hallway, and there's just a line of people behind them ready to push their way through. And there's the one that everyone hates, unless you are them, the couples making out by the stairs or the doors. I wanted to share with you a key piece from each of my classes that I've taken this year and the lessons that they have taught me. Starting my day at 7 a.m. with screaming and cussing middle schoolers should be terrible. And trust me, some days it was. But I would never trade that experience for anything else. If you know me, I am not the best influence. Mr. Wiss rode an electric scooter into our econ classroom, and I tried to convince Mrs. Shalafo to ride into Mr. Day's room. If you know Mr. Day, it would have been a total disaster, especially since it was a test day. Her response was simply, in Mr. Day's eyes, students live and die by US history. Do not take every assignment too seriously. At the end of our sheep brain dissection, I diced the cerebellum like it was an onion, and my lab partner <laughs> recorded me doing it. Enjoy the time you spend with your friends during your senior year, because this will probably be the last time that you'll ever be in that environment with them again. In Ms. Patterson's class, I strengthened some of my closest friendships, and I learned how to master my procrastination through my trying class. Nothing at Northrop is how you would perceive it to be initially. You can walk into calculus where they're supposed to be the best and brightest and see us sniffing pencils and having a debate over how pencily it smells while convincing Mr. Erdman to smell it with us. Let there always be a way for you to express yourself. Band kids are some of the weirdest kids you will ever meet. But sometimes you need an outlet to act like a kid. And finally, make sure you enjoy your education. That was something I learned this year and last year. After we all move on to college, we are going to remember the times that we spent laughing or goofing around more than the time we spent stressing or studying for finals. So go out and enjoy life. There is more beyond the walls that we were imprisoned in for, for the past four years. It is my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian, a good friend of mine, I hope, Noah Hafner, the number one girl boss of the senior class. <laughs> On behalf of the class of 2023, I'd like to thank our exceptional faculty and administration, as well as our custodians, our bus drivers, our cafeteria workers, and all of the other people that made our education possible. Personally, I want to thank my amazing family, friends, and teachers for facilitating my growth, both personally and academically. A special thank you to Ethan McLean, who helped me writing these jokes, and Ms. Patterson, who helped me with the delivery of this speech. According to Webster's Dictionary, a valedictorian is a person who uses dictionary definitions to evade creativity, reinforcing the stale nerd stereotype. I'll try not to do that. When I began brainstorming ideas for this speech, it occurred to me that if I were listening to myself speak, I'd want it to be useful, I'd want it to be brief, 
and I'd want it to be at least a little funny. Now, my jokes are a little better than Mr. Day's, nor do I have any good advice for you, but the teachers of Northrop do. Over the past four years, I've worked with many of Northrop's teachers, so I ask them for any advice they have for us. One of the most common responses was to look up from our phones. Now, we may not like to hear it, but those teachers are right. There is so much to do in so little time, and watching TikToks or scrolling Reddit is one of the least fulfilling ways to spend it. Now, I spend a lot of time on my phone too, but when I look at my screen time and see that I spent three hours on Instagram and two hours on YouTube in just one day, I always regret not using that time to take a walk or learn something new or do anything that actually means something to me. The other most common response was to take risks and dream big. Don't waste so much time thinking about what you want to do that you never actually do it. Taking risks was the one thing that I wanted to do most this year. It's a habit I really wanted to improve, and I had a few successes. I self-studied AP Physics, and while I haven't gotten my scores back yet, I think I did quite well despite the challenge of teaching that material to myself. Still, there are many things I shied away from this year. I could have applied to so many more scholarships, but I was so focused on perfecting just a few that I never even touched all of the rest. Also, I've had a few projects I've wanted to build for quite a while, but I've never even attempted them because I'm too worried they won't work and they'll just end up a waste of my time. For example, I wanted to build an automatic book scanner, and I even bought the parts, but I never committed to testing them or putting that design down on paper. I found that caution is an indispensable friend, but it will also stifle growth if left unsupervised. There are several other great pieces of advice I want to share with you today, but I don't really have time to elaborate, so here are some abridged quotes. From Mr. Smith, also known as Math Jesus, your life after high school won't use the FWCS grading scale. You will need to give your best every day. There is no sliding by with just a 60%. Your choices and actions as an adult will affect not just you, but all of the people around you, too. You'll get out of life what you put into it. From Mrs. Berger, life is a marathon, not a sprint. Resilience is crucial to success, and you must become comfortable with learning from your failures. From the academic team's Pepsi princess, Mr. Opper, don't let the people you dislike cause drama for you. Spend time with people that value you for you. From Mrs. Lee, you can't be anyone else, so be the best you, you can be. And finally, from Mrs. Burdett, make sure you say your goodbyes today because many of your friends you will never see again. You will go separate ways after today. You will continue your lives. You will graduate from college, get jobs, and start families. You will congratulate them from afar, from social media, but it will never be the same as it is today. With that, thank you and goodbye. Northrop Class of 2023.
as the names are being read, we ask that all applause be held so each student can get the respect that they deserve on this great day. Thank you for your cooperation. Noah Hafner. McKaylin Lort. Enroy Mon. <laughs> Micah Gilman. Morgan Smith. Annalise Fazzaro. Johan Guerrero. Deanna Diaz. Hannah Paul. Jovana Ibishevich. Memhong Ach. Ava Berg. Sophia Bonner. Daniel Boucher. Alex Calvo Gonzalez. Mi Sar Yar Chan. Tristan Clark. Abby Corpus. Ava Daniels. Jenna Doctor. Cassandra Dove. Caitlin Eastham. Alma Esmerovich. Isabel Fowler. Connor Frame. Brian Funes. Ethan Gruber. Joey Harder. Nadal Ismail. Brandon Jackson. Gavin K. Caitlin Lanza. Sarah Liu. Amar Lokmich. Samantha Macy. Morgan McEachern. Savannah Minnery. Christian Miller. Carlon Morales Pineda. Aiden Murphy. Hey Ma Ong. Aaliyah Payne. Brianna Rivas. Kalani Robertson. Ash Romez. Alyssa Ropa. Sophia Sanchez. Trevor Schill. Kobe Scott. Adelie Smullen. 
E. Indra So. Rachel Sparks. Aaron Tran. Tyrus Whitman. Ashanti Williams. Nikayla Willis. Crystal Wynn. Grace Witzengruder. Maxwell Young. Dalman Alexander. Constance Allen. Achilles Amato. Carly Ashbaugh. Sahida B. Jolie Bilberry. Autumn Beyer. Daniela Castro. Victoria Kleiben. Melissa Corbo. Cameron Crouch. Haley Denson. Aaron Foote. Alana Garrett. Matthew Hampton. Vicente Hernandez. Nevea Jackson. Sanaya Jackson. Victoria Jencott. Ava Khan. Kathy Kassin Souk. Adelyn Lauge. Emma Legg. Allison Manning Flores. Benjamin Marks. Anaya Marshall. Caden Mitchell. Mim Mon. Eric Ortega. Maya Osborne. Andrew Perez. Dylan Wreckage. Ashlyn Robinette. Connor Rumble. Amina Salam. Amanda Saylor. Melissa Torrijos. Jonathan Vidal. Caitlin Votes. <laughs> Croy Winters. Savannah Winker. <laughs> Sophia Wolford. Nevea Young. Carla Zamudio. Surafel Abebe. 
Serenity Adams. Quavion Addison. Eric Ajaka. Zachariah Amat. Erwin Alcantara. Avery Alexander. Alondra Alfaro. Adele Algermi. Amison Allen. Erilyn Ames. Ishmael Arias Garfias. Ariana Ashby. Anne Marie Baker. Yeah! Elliot Barrett. Caleb Barton. Shannon Bassett. Keon Bates Jr. William Boschman. Alexander Bennett. Nathan Benson. Amory Flack. Dawson Black. Elena Blackator. Croy Blair. Benjamin Bolanos. Nicholas Bolton. Keshira Boyd. Alexis Bradley. Bailey Brinkner. Tyler Brooks. Elijah Brown, Lincoln Brown, Nymesha Brown, David Brunel, Maurice Bryant, Amaya Burks. Ivan Calvo Portillo, Callie Campbell, Kyle Campbell, Mackenzie Campbell, Terica Campbell, Jalen Carden. Lorena Carmona. Ashley Carroll. Kaylee Carto Dominguez. Syke Chan. Nitez Chandler Merriweather. Jada Chapman. Jordan Chapman, Courtney Chase, Landon Chilcote, Jayla Clark, Rashid Clark Cook. Savan Claudio, 
Brooklyn Clayton. Gabriella Clifton Campbell. Yavin Coleman. Isla Chovich. Kira Cohen. Brianna Crismore. Melissa Cruz. Sanji Da. Mina Dang. Annika Davis. Mia Darrow. Silva Diaz. Finn Didion. Pamela Dishnika. Stiliana Dishnika. Noah Dahl. Jalen Donnell. Carter Doty. Diana Duque. Sarah Duque. Elijah Eccles. Julissa Escobar Martinez. Madison Esmond. Christine Fenton Rice. Cody Ferguson. Jalea Fisher. William Fisher. Letitia Ford Cooper. Alexia Forgus. Jose Franco. Tavon Freeman. Dominic Galvin. Samuel Garcia. Manuel Garza. Hassan Gidio. Janaya Gentry. Jaeja Gentry. Emma Gernhardt. Brianna Gibbs. Helen Gillenwater. Hannah Gillenwater. Dustin Gerardo. Haley Gerardo. Ashley Gomez. Jordan Gonzalez. Sophia Gonzalez. Brian Guerrero. Daniel Gutierrez. Riley Happ. Dylan Harwood.
Ryan Happ. Andrew Hawk. Jacob Harold. Brandon Hernandez. Melissa Hernandez. Owen Hernandez. Dylan Her, William Her, Seth Hain, Amelia Hill, Chloe Hill. Tyler Hilton, Mackenzie Hines, Darius Hinton, Kira Hoffman, Olivia Holderman, Arkar Hongsa, Ong Tao, Timothy Tu, Ashton Hubbard, Alyssa Hushi, T2 Kim Nguyen. Samantha Irwin, Norion Jackson, Akarion James, Natavia Jameson, Ava Jensen, Caleb Johnson, Kamaya Johnson, Sydney Johnson, Caitlin Jones, Elena Jordan, Kaylee Jordan, Sophia Casa, Gonska Koda, Zoe Keating. Christian Kelsaw, Dominic Kendrick, Alisa Alexis Key, Pau Kai, Alexis King, Caden King. Michaela Klima, Darcy Kosh, Jaden Cohart, Alexander Comprond Boo, Finn Kono, Kelsey Kapal. Zoe Kovach, Charlotte Lake, Jaden Lambert, Logan Lamont, Dakota Lane, Alden Laughlin, Taya Law, Sandra Lawy. Joseph Lee, Sai Lang, Amari Lewis, Heather Linemeyer, 
Jaman Liscombe, Mina Lopez Salazar, Jamie Lopez, Zane Love, Dashirni Lovelace, Colton Lowe, Azlea Lowry, Triton Lai, Ashton Lyons, Emily Macias, Devin Magger, Amir Mahap Tagore, Mexahai Mar, Cassandra Markowski, Braden Martinez Campos, Mosiah Martrot, Zachary McBride, Christian McCullough, Easton McCarthy, Ethan McLean, Lillian McClure, Tessa McDaniel, Corbin McDowell, Lucian McFarlane, Brooklyn McLemore, Marissa May Hick, Alem Melchick, Manuel Mendez Soto, Alan Mendoza, Atlas Miles, Elvin Milkovich, Dylan Miller, Rain Miller, Ruby Mondragon Marquez, Alexis Monhe, Takori Moore, Matthew Morgan, Neha Munde, Ayana Nelson, Kevin, Andrew Newman, Kevin Wynn, V Wynn, San Nu, Kaylee O'Brien, Trevor O'Day, Natalia Oliver, Giselle Alvera, Yi O, Lillian Ortega Lopez, David Osheski, Hasia Pace, Nicholas Pandoff, Rakira Parker, Desiree Payne, Dana Perez, Sanford Petway, Kiara Petty, Hannah Phillips, Mason Phillips, Michael Fury, Trinity Proctor, Javier Crontana, Michael Corliss, Javier Quantana, Kevin Quantana, Isabella Ramirez, 
Stephanie Ramos, Sebastian Rangel, Caitlin Rail, Tiana Redhawk, Spencer Reed Phillips, Estrella Relu. Braylon Rep Logal, Christian Retch Neff, Logan Retch Neff, Maylee Ritchie, Isabella Roach, Kamarion Roberson. Alexa Robinson, Alexis Romke, Haley Romke, Dominic Romke, Omarion Rogers, Mario Romero, Hamina Rosales. Aiden Round, Sierra Royal, Angel Ruiz, Faith Salonis, Thung Shin Sung, Kayla Santiago Rivera. Roman Santos, Jaden Schmeek, Graydon Shanley, Zachari Zachary Schultz, Zoe Schwartz, Olivia Scott, Rachel Scott. Micah Seaman, Sylvia Cicada Donis, Zoe Shanks, Kyle Sheckler, Alexander Shinneberry, Mark Sikorsky. Cameron Smith, Jade Smith, Lindsay Smith, Madison Smith, Shaney Sororis, Corey Soprak, Gabriel Sparkman. Cheyenne Spriggs, Reagan Steele, Savon Stevens, Kalani Stevens Tabron, Brianna Stewart, Caden Stoffer, Grant Stone. Corbin Stout, Rosalind Suarez, Honesty Sutton, Jaya Schwabshire, Laya Toma, Bo Tao. Joshua Taylor, Brenton Teeters, Davis Teeter, AJ Thomas, 
Braden Thompson, Zoe Till, Casey Tinsley, Nathan Toe, Chase Tumeyer, Hunter Tumeyer, Tu Tran, Jessica Treader, Antonio Truex, Demetrius Valence, Jason Valencia Marcias, Kimberly Vallo, Brooklyn Van Gorder, Ariana Vargas, Antonio Vaughn, Luke Voss. Ashlyn Walker, <laughs> Ganya Vong Pachan, <laughs> Olivia Wade, <laughs> Adam Walberry, <laughs> Dylan Walker. Jalen Wallace, Nakira Wallace, Brennan Waters, Jashelle Weaver, Joshua Weaver, Evelyn Weber. Kylie Wellman, Jeloni Wells, Cade Wheeler, Kane Wicker, James Wilkins, Jamarius Williams, Jalen Williams. Michael Williams, Timothy Williams, Lashia Wilson, Kamari Winston, Lewis Wood, Nakia Woods, Braden Woodward. Mason Yoho, Emilza Zamora Mendez, Seniors, would you please stand? As your final high school assignment, please turn your tassel from the right to the left.
You are officially the 51st graduating class of Northrop High School. Congratulations.